And before you are all of the items that you'll be needing. So let's get started. So I have cut up about five um, baking potatoes. And I put them in this water. I'm going to let them boil on high for about 10 minutes. And all I put in that water was um, a little salt. Maybe like a teaspoon of salt and water. Okay, so I have drained my potatoes that have they've been boiling on uh, my stove top for about I'll say about 10-15 minutes okay and I also maybe I forgot to add the step I don't know but I did put like a table like a teaspoon of cornstarch in my water that was boiling I don't know if I told you that or not but I know I told you I put salt and Salt in my water. I don't remember telling you about the cornstarch, but you do put a teaspoon of cornstarch in, in the water while this is boiled. Okay, so we're gonna hit this with some olive oil. Some garlic salt. Onion powder. Oregano. You know what? I'm gonna wait and hit it with the oregano when I flip it. And some black pepper. So we're going to and I have my stove preheated to uh, 400 degrees. So now that this all that's all tossed, I'm going to put this on my baking sheet. Okay, I've lined my baking um, sheet with aluminum foil for an easy cleanup. So I'm going to just put these potatoes in and stir them. Bring them apart from the uh, foil. You want to do this without tearing because you want to keep your piss in the potatoes. But you get the picture. Continue to get the rest of them apart, but you get the idea. Okay, so I finally got the loose from the foil. I changed um, my foil because I tore some of it. But um, this goes back into the oven. 
for another 30 minutes. Okay, these are my finished potatoes. You can see the crispiness on them. And they're real good. And if you try them, I hope you enjoy them. Hey, no, no, no.